second largest city in the UK, right? So right after London, um, the second largest city, right? Not only that, but we are one hour and 20 minutes away from London. And by saying that, I don't just mean um, you have to take a shuttle bus, you have to take a train to go into the station from the university campus. No, it is right at your doorstep. OK, um, it is literally within three minutes walking distance from the university, you will be able to get on the train and straight into London. Um, and also right opposite the university right now, we are building the new HS2 or the high speed train that is um, supposed to be finished in 2026. And it will shorten the time for us to go into London within 40 minutes, right? So from one hour, 20 minutes, you will be London in 40 minutes. It is a very um, high diversity, not only just with Vietnamese student societies, but in terms of Southeast Asian societies, we have a large populations of international students, meaning that you guys don't have to feel that you're not safe in the city. And there's also a very, very big um, Chinatown, meaning that you guys are more than welcome to visit our Chinatown. There's a lot of food, restaurants, options. There's a lot of... Uh, um, small shops where you can get locally um, or international at, in that point um, um, source of uh, food. So you guys don't have to feel like you're missing home that much. Um, and it's also a city that has integrated um, old and new. So I have a couple of pictures here to show you guys. As you can see, um, this is the city center. There's also the canal, right? So Birmingham City is actually known for our canals. I don't know if you guys watches uh, Peaky Blinder, a very, very famous show from the UK. You can also find it on Netflix. Peaky Blinder is known uh, and is originated from the city of Birmingham, right? So you will see this canal running through the city. This part of the city is called the mailbox, which is within 15 minutes walk from the university. And this is where most people go on the weekends to have brunch, to have cafes, to go to cafes, um, to have lunches and all that. Right. So, yes, you can see it's very beautiful. This is what the city center looks like. And of course, you can see our famous Curson building in red. And that's basically where the library is, where most of our business course is actually is. Right. You can also see that the um, the Broad Street, which is the image with the tram. Right. This is where um, we basically have uh, a lot of the nightlife right running through the city. The image on the right hand side is the city center where there's a lot of restaurants a lot of pubs, a lot of bars. Um, and of course, it's directly um, right out of the, uh, the shopping street as well. Right. And of course, um, if we talk about Birmingham, a lot of people, a lot of people from um, the UK, a lot of people in Europe would know of the Bull Ring. The Bull Ring is this alien looking building over here, and it is right within three minutes walking distance from the university. It is basically a large shopping mall um, directly connected to the central station. Now, the shopping mall is where you can find big brands like Selfridges is the mall itself, right? And inside you can find things like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all this famous, famous brand is within three minutes walking distance from the university. So about our city center campus, the Curson building itself is within three minutes, as I've said, it has, you would have access to researchers, libraries, right, shops, we have our student union bar, um, we have the meeting rooms and other student services, um, and it's all also within full, uh, five to 10 minutes, right, walking distance to students accommodations, and that depends on students accommodation that you choose for. All of our facilities are five star modern facilities, and it could accommodate, um, you know, a lot of our students, right? Students who are wishing to study in a new modern facility, students who want to find, um, you know, new um, types of uh, hands on education. Um, so BCU is actually very much known for that. So this is the map of the university. Um, as you can see here on the right hand side, that's our city center campus. Um, and then we also have other locations as well, um, like the School of Jury, the Birmingham School of Art, and the City South Campus, depending on your course and where you want to go. But all of this is, I would say, within the city of Birmingham, right? We have other um, facilities as well. And this is the um, reason number two why you should study at BCU. 
first of all, across our four faculties, we would invest in the best and the newest and the industry-based equipment, right? So imagine you going into work, you need to make sure that you understand every tools there is before you go to work, right? Not when you get into work and you use three to six months to try to find out how to do your job correctly, right? So initially we bought over 350 million pounds to invest in new facilities, to invest in the facilities that we make sure that is industry-based. And each year we invest over 7 million pounds, okay, just to buy um, new equipments, to upkeep the facilities, to make sure that students have the newest um, things to, to work with. Some of these facilities, like our green room, is actually known to be used by the industry in themselves, like the BBC, right? Um, that's the biggest new channels um, or the content creator channel um, in the UK. And the BBC themselves, right, is known to borrow or um, rent our facilities to use in their broadcasting. Now, the only conditions that we have for them is that they need to also recruit BCU students, meaning that our students would get to also work and practice, right, working with the industry while they're in university themselves. So we do have different buildings. And as you can see here, I talked about the city center campus before. You saw that we have a school of jewelry, um, which is right situated in the jewelry quarter. A lot of the people, when they're going to get married, when they're from the UK, they would actually go and visit um, Birmingham just to go to the jewelry quarter because it's one of the oldest locations where they make jewelry. Right. So our school of jewelry is actually known to be very top tiered um, course um, in the world, right? So it's actually quite top ranking and is well known for jewelry designed. We have the university house where a lot of you guys, when you have to study pre-sessional English courses or when you have to study foundation program, right? With our BCUIC International College, you would have to go to our university house, which is just around the corner from the Curzon building. We also have City South Campus where we teach courses like health nursing, right? We teach course like physiology, um, nutrition. Um, we teach also education courses, right? So it's all in the City South Campus. We are also known for our Royal Birmingham Conservatoire where we teaches our music orchestra um, and a lot of different courses within the in music industry. We also have one of the oldest school of art and that is in the Margaret Street. Now we're celebrating 180 years celebration this year um, in terms of you know our art school. So we are one of the um, oldest art school in England actually um, when it comes to teaching art and design. Not only that, but recently this year, we also invested in buying the Alexander Muse, uh, Stadium, right? So the Alexander Stadium is actually was used in the Commonwealth Games. So last year, Commonwealth Games was held in Birmingham. And we basically bought over the stadium and we are now using it for our sports science programs, right? So a lot of our uh, physiology courses is now being held here. And a lot of our students will get to actually experience um, Olympic size uh, facilities, right? So as I've mentioned, we are always consistently uh, moving towards better facilities for our students to put their hands and practice using these um, facilities. And another building that I would like to introduce is called the Steam House. Now the Steam House is with, uh, with basically a collaboration with the city of Birmingham. And the steam house is actually now used for um, a lot of startup projects. We basically have um, the steam house originally before this, it was used uh, for, um, you know, giving uh, advices to SMEs and smaller um, businesses and also startups within the city of Birmingham. Now it's also powered by B BCU or us, therefore our students are they held free memberships right now. So they can go to um, the Steam House to get advices on their startups. They can go get advices on their projects, their um, business plans. We have fabrication lab, we have business center, um, we have design studios that help businesses try to grow. Right. And not only that, some of our students can enter the competitions where they can basically pitch their project. And if they win, they would get around 10,000 pounds to basically launch their projects. 
Um, and not only that, right now, it's actually being used for our computing and technology um, faculties, right? So basically courses in computer science, user experience design, which is very, very popular right now. Um, any basically um, coding, right? Um, a lot of those courses are being held at the STEAM house. Reason number three that I would like to introduce to you is employability and support. Now, having all those great facilities would basically um, help us, right, with the students and how they are ready for working. So 97.6% of our students um, are able to find and secure job within six months of graduation. So this is our employability rate. Um, and therefore, um, a lot of our courses is also very um, international re recognized. So we have courses in computing, engineering, and of course, art and design that is known to be considered to be in the top 20 in the UK. And a lot of our courses is accredited by professional bodies. So not only will you be um, graduating with a certificate from the university, but you also be graduating with a certificate for professional bodies as well, depending on the courses that you choose. Another thing that um, I would like to say here is the support that we give. Because we have a lot of high, I mean, we have high percentage in being employable, we basically offer students graduate plus and career plus programs. Now, these are different for each faculty, as you know, to, for you to find jobs within uh, business, to, for you to find jobs within art, for you to find jobs within uh, health uh, education or any of these courses that we offer, we require different specialists. So in each of our faculties, we have our own career plus and graduate plus offices, right? So you can go and talk to our um, specialist anytime that you like. It is opened five days a week. So you can go in there and register, um, try to put an appointment down so that you can go and talk to them about it, right? And in front of those uh, graduate plus and career plus programs, we have these leaflets that will always, always tell you what is available jobs right now. How can you apply for it? What you have to do what kind of requirements they need right so these are available for you monday to friday okay not only that the graduate plus programs are basically um they would also have courses available for you guys to take as well at no additional courses course like um, leadership program courses like public speaking courses uh like interviews processing so anything like that that would try to help you to find and secure a job in the future we basically try to help you out so i would always suggest students that i meet that if you want to come to bcu make sure that you use these student support services right because as i know living in southeast asia and went to schools in southeast asia as well i do understand that a lot of the times the support um are kind of missing right not that it's not a good university but it wasn't something that they very much put their hands um or or um you know put a priority on but in the uk um we do put a lot of uh priorities towards supporting our students Reason number four of why you should choose um, BCU is that, first of all, it's actually very affordable, right? So Birmingham is actually 30% cheaper to live in than London, right? And this is 2022 data. Now, um, not only that, but because it is the second largest city in the UK, you can find part-time jobs anywhere in the city the university itself of course right and the student union of course would also have um basically jobs that is available to you but if you're going to go to the uk i don't want you just to be working at the university right you can find experiences outside the university as well and being from a large cities you can find jobs in restaurants you can find sh jobs in shops you can find jobs in office spaces right that is available for students right and also if they're looking for part-timers as well in terms of our courses for undergraduate program, it is starting from £13,980 and also postgraduate course is £16,870. Now, if we really compare the price to other universities out there in the UK, you guys would know that these are actually in the lower end of the price range. Right. Um, but being from the you know second largest city and also right in the center of the city, um, this is very competitive price right 
We also offer scholarships based on your GPA, right? So if you have a GPA of 2.3 out of four, we are already offering you a thousand pounds scholarships. If you have 2.6 or 3.0, um, these goes up in um, obviously the scholarships that we can offer you. Now you don't need to write additional papers. You don't need to write personal statements to ask for this. You don't need to um, apply for the scholarships. You just need to send us your transcript um, and if you basically have, um, you know, these required grade, we can basically offer you the scholarships. Now, this only applies to one year of study. If you choose to go for a postgraduate master's degree, which is only a 12 month course, then obviously we would be able to give you um, with that, that first um, that year of study. But if you're choosing to go for an undergraduate program, then you would only apply the scholarships for your first year of study, which is your first year. I just want to show you some of the facilities that we have Let, like I said, the BBC uses, which is basically this green room over here, which is the largest fixed screen in Europe. We also have one of the cameras that there's only three in Europe as well. So as I've mentioned, we do have a lot of these hands on courses that requires equipments and tools, and it's unique to each courses and therefore allowed each students to explore whatever potential and whatever they're looking for. We have a lot of management courses, we have a lot of collaboration courses, we have a lot of design courses, which obviously allows our students to reach into um, different areas um, of studies, right? A lot of our art students um, basically result in amazing work, right? They, um, for fashion design students, they basically have um, a, an annual uh, catwalk show at the end of the year to showcase their work. Architecture students, construction, project manager, right? We all have these courses as well, real estate management, right? These are all um, uh, for our students um, to use. So I have a bit, uh, a little bit of um, art and design courses here for you guys to look at. We do have a lot of management courses as well. Um, I think it's also very unique now um, in the UK where you can choose to basically do uh, business courses, but specific to the area that you're interested in. Um, so we that we have that in jewelry design, we have that in fashion, um, we have that in uh, most art and design courses, um, like for example, this one over here, Masters in Art and Project Management, is very good for students who wants to become a curator, who wants to do events, right? So in these course modules, they teach you about um, finding resources, budgeting, finance, and things like that. We also have a lot of courses in media technology, whether that is game design, game development. We also have that in visual effects, 2Ds, 3D animations, um, filmmaking, right? But also I wanna put here uh, masters of user experience design, right? So masters of science in user experience design. Now for this course, it's actually becoming more and more popular and I get applications from all around the world, um, especially from Southeast Asia, this is one of the highest and sought after course right now. Um, if you guys know of design courses, user experience design is known for um, doing obviously, you know, the, the interfaces to different um, apps, right? So this course is actually being taught in our school of uh, uh, technology, right? School of Computing and Technology. So students would actually learn a bit of coding as well as design. We also have um, very interesting courses in marketing. So for our undergraduate program, obviously we have courses in digital marketing, right? Um, we have marketing and communication. We have marketing and uh, public relations, right? Um, but for our master's program, we have a course called Future Media, 
right? So our course in future media is very interesting because it's actually basically digital marketing, but it's not for you to go into class and sit there from nine to five and doing lecture courses. Of course, we have those lectures courses as well, but for our future media course, students will actually get to make their campaign. So whatever you think of uh, marketing is, we basically make sure that the students know how to deliver those campaigns as well, right? So they have to either take po uh, photos, they have to take a video, they have to do editing, right? For these marketing campaigns, they need to know when to launch the campaigns. What is the time interval? Three months, six months, nine months, right? How do you make sure that you launch this product, this project, and it would go through, right? We have courses like brand management. We have course like luxurious brand management, um, which obviously a lot of students after they graduate, they go and work into big companies, right? Like I said before, um, we have students working in Paul Smith Burberry, right? Um, we have students that might go into um, working for bigger brands like Chanel's, Louis Vuitton, right? So these are what luxurious brand management is, but it's not based basically just focusing on uh, fashion design. It could also focus on things like, um, you know, real estate, um, cars, you know, things like that. And then we also have courses in um, design management as well, where a lot of our students basically um, work on products, right? Not necessarily design as in uh, product as in items, but it's basically um, any product, right? We have a lot of product designers working in banks now, right? Product is as a whole, right? So this is great for people who are wanting to work in startups um, and they want to basically know more about management um, and being uh, a project manager manager being um, a director, right, of a, 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 or basically a product designer, as I've mentioned before. Right. So um, those were basically quick introduction to BCU. So I've, I've mentioned to you guys the three things, four things, actually, that I want to basically give you a recap is first, the location, right? Second is the employabilities that we do. Three is facilities, right, that we offer. And four, the affordability, right? How cheap it is to actually live in the second largest city in the UK. So if you guys want to know more about us, that we also have Instagram that you can go and look at. BCU International is the most frequent, but we also have BCU Southeast Asia, where I post pictures um, of the university um, and also the activities that we do. You guys could also reach out to um, my personal email and also phone number um, if you ever want to reach out and ask more about what BCU is and if I can offer you any sort of information about BCU, please feel free to send me an email. Okay. Thank you so much, Cam, for the wonderful presentations. I hope you have gained a lot of knowledge about Birmingham City University and also, of course, about Birmingham. So guys, it's about Q&A sessions. Uh, let's go for Q&A. If you have any questions related to Birmingham City University, feel free to ask. So uh, come, by the way, do you have a list of course that, that are still available for September 2023 intake? Yes, yes. So actually, right now, um, pretty much all of our courses are still opened, except for um, the Royal Conservatoire. So any music courses might be too late, because we require auditioning. Um, okay. And any courses that is in the school of health so like nursing courses um, is also yes. now closed yeah so any okay. courses in business any courses in design any courses in computer science and technology engineering even is still very much open for applications right now um, and we plan to close it I think within July um, because we also need to obviously work on visas processing and a lot of things like that yeah yeah, thank you. Come. Guys, any questions? I can add a little bit about um, application process and also sure, about um, the requirements. Now, uh, basically, obviously, the requirements from Myanmar is a little bit um, 
difficult for undergraduate programs because for undergraduate programs for you guys to progress into first year you will re require a foundation program um, which will only be an extra six to nine months right not a whole year only six to nine months depending on the course you go for um, if you have good grades right if you have um, you know some like GCSE courses, IGCSE courses, or one A levels. Um, usually, to go into university, you require three A levels, right? Um, but in this case, if you only have one, you can basically go into the foundation course. Now, the foundation course can only just maybe be one semester if they see fit, right? If they um, look at your profile, your grades, and they're like, okay, maybe the students only require one semester. So you only just need to do that one semester for the foundation before you progress into first year, right? So it's actually quite easy, right, for you guys to apply in that sense. Um, but for master's program, so if you guys have a, a bachelor in anything, bachelor of art, bachelor of science, bachelor of, um, you know, engineering, or anything like that, you are more than welcome to apply for our master's program, right? So the master's program itself, um, some course will require you to have um, the bachelor program in the same field, but we do offer very much many, many uh, conversion courses. Like for example, if you wanna do masters of computer science where you learn to do programming, right? Um, software development and all that, we do have that course available from students from all areas, right? So what even um, I was talking about earlier as well, user experience design, that one is also open for students from different areas, whether or not you have backgrounds in IT or art, you're more than welcome to apply for that. Right. Um, so, yes, there are many, many courses also, including um, international MBAs, very, very popular for students who wants to come to the UK. Right. So our Masters of Business um, you know, Administration, our international MBAs is actually open also for any students to apply to. Um, and this one, uh, even with a G, um, GPA of 2.3, you're more than welcome to actually apply for that as well. Um, the English requirements, IELTS, that we need is an IELTS overall of six and nothing below 5.5 5. 5 in each category, right? So uh, it's actually very easy um, to a lot of students, might be hard for some of the students. So we also offer pre-sessional English courses for a lot of students as well. So even for bachelor and data master, it's only six, not less than 5.5, 5, right? Yes, exactly. For both bachelor and master's degree, we require the same IELTS score. So by the way, do you have theology or social science courses in master's? Um, so we do have social science courses. Um, let me okay. see over here. Um, social science courses that we do offer um, is obviously courses like um, psychology, right? So psychology, um, human rights and all that stuff. We do actually have some of those courses, um, but we have more so in undergraduate programs. So undergraduate programs that we have, we have it in criminology, um, criminology, policing, investigations. We have psychology, right? So psychology, psychology with criminology, psychology with counseling. We do have that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we have um, sociology as well. So these are all undergraduates. For, po for postgraduate programs, we basically have criminology, forensic psychology, health psychology. Um, and uh, this one I have a lot of um, people who apply for is actually Masters of Science in Applied Child Psychology as well. All right, thank you so much. At the moment, um, yeah. Yeah, sure. At the moment, BCU does not offer any fully funded scholarships, except if it's for um, postgraduate degree like PhD courses. Um, some of them we do offer a lot of a lot more scholarships. Um, but yeah, that's that's um, also another department as well, um, where students need to write their um, their thesis before their um, and then they have to send it for us to reassess and all that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Any more questions, guys? Feel free to ask any questions if you have. Could it be? I you have a question. I have a question. Sure. Could, could it be Bamalwe do Lame? Could we be Mimla? Yeah, yeah. Who's Ali? Chenoga, Bachelaga, Tony Bepiniali. 
ตรงเนสรออุซาดิโปโลมานะคุชิเมเบียวันยาดิโปโลมาอาสโลชิเนปรีมาสเตอร์ชาวโลยามลามีเมบิจิบาโอเคโซโอเคโซแอคชุอั